Today, we're going to be installing a physical keyboard on an iPhone 6 Plus. Let's get started. So, you know, the evolution of technology has been moving so fast, and uh, some people, especially the older generation, they they really miss the tactile, a physical keyboard, you know, and something that they can feel a real connection to, you know. It's a real connection, you know, it's nothing virtual about it. So, but now you have these iPhones, right? They don't have a physical keyboard. They got this fake. Let me show you. Uh, whatever. Let me show you when, what we're dealing with here. You get this. This thing, you know. It's like a screen, right? You're basically tapping on a flat surface. Anyway. So I had a customer today insist that they really need to stay with their BlackBerry because they need a physical keyboard. So... My solution to the problem is merge the two, right? So what we need today is we're going to need a keyboard. And uh, we're going to need a, a few things, some glue. And uh, that's uh, that's really all you need to, to do this operation. Basically, we're going to be adding this keyboard to the iPhone. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get started without further ado, like they say. So first what we're going to do is we're going to line up the keyboard. Right here. See we don't need a trackpad because it's a touch screen anyway. So so you don't need to uh, you don't need any tracking, you know, you got the screen and the home button. We're not going to cover make sure not to cover the home button. So the next thing we're going to do is once we have it lined up. Um, now this is a 6 plus. If you have an iPhone 6 it might fit better, but I only have a 6 plus here to work with. So then what you do is uh, move the iPhone out of the way. Take some of this glue. Now this glue is called B2000. I'll link it in the description below. It's actually really excellent glue. It's perfect for working on electronics. Now make sure not to get any inside the keys. Just around the edge on the borders. And then uh, the keyboard we're using here is from a Bold 9700. Then what you do is carefully Stick it right where you need it, right in the middle there. And then, uh, oh yeah, the other thing we do need today for this repair is a couple of clamps. So you're going to have to clamp it because the glue has to hold. So, just a couple of clamps, one on each side, you don't need to go overboard. And then, put that there to lean it on. And give it about five minutes. Okay, now be careful, you don't want to break your screen in the process. We're just trying to add a uh, physical keyboard to the screen. So, anyway, so what we're trying to achieve here is is basically the best of both worlds. We got the big screen, it's nice, and then we also got a keyboard. Anyway, let's see if the glue is holding. If not, we might need to do it longer. Anyway. Um, no, it's not holding. <clears throat> That's embarrassing. I think I didn't either didn't put enough. So if you didn't put enough, what you got to do is just uh, get some in between the letters. Right in between. Don't go too much into the letters. Now this glue is designed for this, so, you know, should be no problem. And then, yeah, there, now I'm feeling it, feeling the glue. And then push down. There we go. And um, so yeah, this will work very well with a uh, with a Samsung as well. Maybe a Samsung S7. Um, I have one here kicking around. Oh, no, no, I have an S5 here. Now, the S5 is pretty much just as wide. So, let's see. Yeah, this 5 is just as wide. I think this would be optimal on a 6 or a 6S, even a 7. But anyway, as you can see here, we have a keyboard. We have now installed a keyboard. Now, uh, you're going to have to download the app. 
It's called Bold 9700 Keyboard on my 6 Plus app. And uh, it will map the keys to the key. So the P will map to the P. And uh, you've got to pretty much run the calibration uh, tutorial. And then that's it. You're good to go. So anyways, thanks for watching. Low cost alternative to adding a physical keyboard to your phone.